Pitcher plants are very unique plants. They characterize by having pitcher-like structures in their leaves to be able to capture and consume bugs. Today, I will be answering a very common question about pitcher plants, and that is if you should be filling up with water the pitchers from your plant. I'm going to be using the Nepenthes ventrata that I have right there to give you a few examples and show you uh, in what cases it is recommended to fill them up with water and uh, which ones it is not. First of all, a few, a few facts about pitcher plants. Pitcher plants produce some enzymes inside their pitchers that help them break up and digest the bugs that they capture. And then they can extract those key nutrients to be able to grow and develop. Most pitcher plants have a little hat on top of their pitcher that prevents any rainwater from coming in because they produce their own enzymes and they don't want those enzymes to be diluted over time. For that reason is that if you are growing your pitcher plant at home and it is not producing any fluids, I do not recommend you filling the pitchers with water. Instead, I recommend you to do a little bit of research, maybe check out a pitcher plant care guide, or maybe also research about a specific species that you have to find out maybe there is something wrong. It generally has something to do with lighting and water. If you're able to master those two factors, then your pitcher plant will most likely be overall healthy and start producing fluids very quickly. Of course, there are some exceptions. For example, Saracenia purpurea opens up and actually it's built to collect rainwater. So if you own one of these and you have maybe a plant indoors or somewhere where it doesn't have access to rainwater, then in those cases you could consider filling up with water. And I'll give you the instructions in just a minute. There are a few other scenarios where I do suggest you go over and fill up those pitcher plants with some water, not completely, but just uh, enough water for the pitcher to remain healthy. First, if you have recently bought your plant and it has been shipped, it is very likely that all the enzymes have gone away in the, in the shipping, so your pitchers might be completely empty. And sometimes they start to wither because of the stress of the trip. In those cases, your pitchers will probably not make it, just those leaves will start to wither eventually. And since they do not have any fluid, I do suggest adding a little bit of water. You can use distilled water, pyro water, or rain water. Always pure water, never tap water, or bottled water. You have those three options. And when you fill them up, don't fill them up completely because that can end up harming the plant. Just fill up uh, one third to one fourth of the height of the pitcher. The other scenario when I suggest to add a little bit of water into the pitchers is if you spill the water out of them. So in the unnatural circumstance where you were moving the plant around, or maybe your plant lost those enzymes, you can refill it with a little bit of water. Again, about one third or less should be enough. In some cases, it is very easy to spot if your plant is producing fluids or not. Sometimes your plant is so big that you can just look inside the pitcher and check if there is water in it. In some other cases, it might require you to do a simple trick. For example, I use the lantern from my phone to kind of shine next to the pitcher and check if there is any fluids in them. And I checked for this plant earlier today and everything looked good, so that is just kind of positive feedback that I know that the plant is relatively happy. If this content has been useful for you, I would really appreciate if you like this video to help us spread the word about all this content. And also, if I have missed something or if you would like to add something or make any correction, please feel free to comment below. Uh, I'll be happy to reply and to get into a conversation. Thank you.